thank you gentlemen for joining the Design Corner. Um, I introduce myself very quick. I'm uh, Rudiger from the headquarters in uh, Ingolstadt, Germany, Audi headquarters. I'm running one of the three interior design studios there. And my pleasure today is to introduce the design of the A4. The way I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it from the inside to the outside. Um, I'm going to do the interior show throughout the presentation, then uh, later on we have the a chance to run around, to walk around the car and talk about the exterior uh, as well. So, when we start as a designer with a white sheet of paper, uh, we always do like really cool sketches, come up with nice ideations, but at the end of the day our task is as well to make it an Audi. So we have certain uh, certain genetic code, uh, what makes an interior an Audi. Some of them are really, you're familiar with, with the wraparound and the drive rotation, for example. You experienced those for many, many years now. Uh, as well as the Audi MMI, which we develop further and further on. This is a big, uh, not only a design, but a technical uh, feature as well, techno technological feature as well. What I point out is today is the horizontal direction and the lightness of the interior as well as the exterior, because what you find at the end of the day is that most things that I'm going to explain from the interior, you find on the exterior as well. So, genetic code, when we look at like ideation first sketches, um, you find a lot of this already in the sketches. And what is important for us as a designer is that the language, the DNA of the, of the interior, the character of an interior, is describable within three lines. And that's what I want to show here, uh, to you uh, throughout this animation here. You have the horizontal layout, the dashboard looks very wide and has a very slim section. How did we do it? We did it with a horizontal layout of the air vents, which I'm going to point out later on furthermore. The wraparound creates a room which is just, uh, nice, as well a nice connection between the dashboard and the door, but it uh, generates a room so you know um, where, where the interior starts, where it stops, that it's connected. It's not like parts putting together by surprise, but it's, everything is done on purpose and in precision. And we have, because we wanted this car to be the most sportiest uh, sedan on the market, we have a new interpretation of uh, the driver orientation. This is the graphical line here on top, running around, uh, putting the steering wheel at the cluster in the center of the driver, and then creating an island in which the uh, interface components are integrated in a perfect position for the driver to reach. Horizontal layout is the definitely uh, the noticeable innovation is the um, ambient air uh, vent that we have on the passenger side. So you have the regular air vents on the right and the center, but in between you have this ambient air. Basically, it's um, extending the design of the of the air vents all the way throughout the dashboard, and that's why how we create the the smooth and um, and, and wide look of the dashboard because the, the section is really, really slim and you have this, uh, the same look as you have here in the, in the air vents, not as an island, but running all the way through the dashboard. And it has a function as well. So it's not only a style thing, but it has a function as well. You have an ambient air function here. So there's really air coming out of the end. Yeah? So it's helping to make it more comfortable in the car as well because you have a bigger surface where the air can, uh, can come out it should be more convenient as well. Let's have a look at precision in detail because now I was talking about the architecture a lot of detailing and you see very early sketches of the um, of the climate control Philip pointed out last night already. Um, what is really nice and I wanted to point out that that's the feature that we find in different uh, corners of the interior and the exterior as well is the way how we treat the chrome application. It has a 3D section, which is not unusual. But the chrome application runs all the way around the climate control and becomes a functional part as well. And remember, function parts is very important for us. It's not only a style thing, but there's a reason why this chrome application becomes wider here, because those are the touch-sensitive buttons. And they're really nicely integrated into the chrome uh, rim around the air vent. So I think it's very nice to see, you see when you come with a finger close to the button, you have a pop-up menu here in the, in the TFT display, giving you different options of what you want to control. Same uh, way of, of um, treating the, the temperature, for example, adjusting the temperature, you have the chrome ring, the yellow ring around the display here. 
uh, it's in the perfect position. You get directly feedback uh, at the at the button that you're using, so you know exactly what you're doing. It's not uh, displayed somewhere else, but it's right at the pot, uh, the spot where you when you uh, have the action. So it's ergonomically perfectly done, put in the, in the nice design as well. Thank you.